Welcome to another edition of Pathways, your leadership connection. Giving you the tools you need to take your leadership to a whole nother level. My name is Richard Helen. I am your certified speaker, trainer, and coach, and proud member of the John Maxwell team. Each time I come before you, I got three simple goals. I want to encourage you, I want to empower you, and I always hope to enlighten you. Today we're going to talk about going out on the limb and getting that fruit. When I served in the United States Army, I was known as Sergeant Do-It-All. Anytime someone had a question or concern, they contacted me. Anytime somebody wanted something fixed or repaired, they contacted me. Anytime somebody wanted something built, they contacted me. I was the go-to guy in my unit. One day, one of my soldiers approached me and she asked, did I take pictures because she was getting ready to get married? I responded, yes. So I went home and told my ex-wife at the time that I just agreed to take one of my soldiers' wedding pictures. And she laughed. She said, man, you're a fool. She said, I want you to consider the fact that this is their wedding. And you can't take that back if you don't perform properly. But I was excited. I was motivated. I wanted to take her pictures. So I had a plan. Now, I admit I was nervous. Because she was right. A wedding is a one-time shot. So my game plan was to go buy me a camera. So I went to the local pawn shop and I bought me a Canon camera. I went to Walmart and I bought me about $150 worth of film. My intent was if I could just get 25 pictures out of all those rolls of film, then it could be a success. So as the day approached, I admit I was nervous. I was kind of paranoid because I wanted everything to come out perfect. When I got to the church, I realized they had my name on the program as the photographer, I really got paranoid. People came up to me shaking my hand and thanking me for being there and they didn't have no idea that I didn't have a clue as to what I was doing. I brought my camera with me, I had my tripod, I brought a video camera and I looked as if I was professional, but I didn't have a clue. I was arranging people, having the tall people out in the back, I had the smaller people up front, had the person put their hand like this, this person fold your hands like that and it looked like I knew what I was doing but I was really faking it. I was only doing what I saw other people do in venues like that. When the wedding concluded, I rushed to Walmart to take the pictures to be developed. I had a three day waiting period. I was nervous. I went back three days later, grabbed the pictures, went to my car, opened the first pack up, and to my dismay, 11 of the first pictures were blurry. 11 of them were blurry. I began to get nervous. But when I looked at that 12th picture, it was crystal clear. Out of all the pictures I took, the vast majority of them came out perfect. I was excited. I couldn't wait to go to work the next day to show the young lady all the pictures of her wedding and how beautiful that she looked. So I went to work the next day and I showed the young lady her pictures and she got excited. And she told her friend and her friends told their friends and their friends told their friends. And the next thing you know, I became the company photographer. People were hiring me to shoot their weddings and just to take general shots. So because I took a chance and went out on the limb of the tree, I created my own photography business while I was in the military. This is 2016. I want to encourage you to get out on the limb because that's where the fruit is. See, the benefit of staying close to the trunk of the tree is that you're comfortable and you don't have to worry about failing. The disadvantage of being close to the tree is that you miss out on the fruit. See, anytime we want change to take place in our life, we have to experience a certain degree of discomfort. We don't grow unless we're discomforted. So the closer we stay to the tree, the less likely that me and you will grow. And if we want 2016 to be better than 2015, me and you, are gonna have to take some chances. In 2016, I'm gonna finish my book. I've never written a book before in my life. Don't know how I'm gonna get it published, don't know how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna get it edited, but I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna do a conference. Don't know how, when, or why, why I know why, that I'm gonna do a conference. But I don't have all the answers, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Why? Because I realized the fruit 
is out on the limb of the tree. And if you never go out on the limb of the tree to get the fruit, you'll live a life of meteorology. Go out on the limb. to another digital pathways, your leadership connection, giving you the tools you need to take your leadership to a whole nother level. Each time I come before you, I got three simple goals. I want to encourage you, I want to empower you, and I always hope to enlighten you. And if we've done that, we want you to like, share, and subscribe to our videos so you can keep up with the latest speaking engagements and everything Pathways is doing to remain relevant. And if you would like Pathways to speak, teach, or coach at your organization, Contact us at richardhillandpathways at gmail.com or the number below. Till the next time we meet, I want you to be encouraged.